Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing fine today. I wanted to come at everybody with a little update about how uh, things are going when it comes to mobile home investing. Um, I'm actually going through um, a roller coaster right now when it comes down to dealing with uh, a certain park. Um, that's one thing you guys will run into if you're doing mobile home investing for a long time or, you know, may run into it your first time. Uh, there are some park managers who are amazing. There are some park managers who are horrible. And in this situation, I'm dealing with uh, two who are actually horrible um, and also races so i'm um dealing with a lot when it comes to paperwork court um things getting destroyed at my properties or my mobile homes that's in the park uh so those are things you need to watch out for you know when it comes down to dealing with property managers and how you you know take things from them now when i say take things from them i mean taking um harassment taking um you know like the racial comments taking you know dealing with them being bullies or them just being mean or you know talking to you any kind of way or you know just different things like that in this situation that i'm actually in i came into the park dealing with the previous park manager who sold the park um unbeknownst to me i didn't know that it was going to happen um and kind of had a back and forth of not being able to reach the old park manager also who i thought you know we had a good relationship um but things happen and you know parks get sold but sometimes they end up getting sold to people or individuals or companies that is just horrible like um so in this situation that's what end up happening and um there's just a lot going on in the park to where i just want to pull my mobile homes out and that's what i'm in the process of trying to do at this point Okay, and the process of pulling a mobile home out of a park and actually placing it somewhere else, whether you're selling it or putting it on a private property or private land or whatever, um, there's a process. There's something that, you know, you have to get have a moving permit uh, to actually do that, which is not hard to get. Um, in this situation, I actually was sold uh, mobile homes by the uh, previous park owner who didn't have a certain title to the mobile home and um, was told that, you know, she she told me she was going to get it, uh, didn't end up doing that. So I'm going through the process of doing that now and which takes time because um, there's actually no VIN on one of the mobile homes. So, yeah, this is some situation that you have to get into. I have to get into real detail to explain the stuff about, you know, the VIN numbers. And if it doesn't have a VIN, what do you do um, if the park owner is not willing to go and get it for you or just vanishes? There's a lot that comes with this. So I want you guys to stay tuned. I'll be sure to update you on a lot more.